Ahoy mates, it's the Cursed Captain here with a new advanced guide dedicated to helping you scurvies increase your chances at spawning the infamous ancient skeletons. To help me with this guide video, I ran into an infamous pirate in their own right, a pirate legend that goes by the name of Kira Lee, who's encountered them over 10 individual times. So what are these secrets and how do you up your chances? Well, sit back and grab yourself a grog because we are about to blow your freaking mind. For all you pirates out there that don't know what the ancient skelly is, it is a creature that when found and killed drops ancient coins. Coins that you can use at the Pirate Emporium to purchase some very awesome cosmetics. So learning how to up your chances on encountering them will help you pirates be a little fancier and help your wallet be a little more full. There are three tiers of drops that the ancient skellies will do. Tier 1 stash will drop 100 to 200 coins, Tier 2 stash will drop 200 to 400, and Tier 3, if you are so blessed by the Whale Lord himself, will drop 400 to 800 coins. Now, quick note here before I jump into the tips, something to keep in mind is that the ancient coins are only rewarded to the crews who killed the ancient skelly, and the reward does not extend to other crews in your pirate alliance. So if you're thinking you can just get a PvE grind server to farm these coins, you, my friend, are out of luck. So what are these tips I speak of? Well, first you need to know that what I'm about to share only ups your chances on spawning the ancient skellies. Even with these tips, they are extremely rare and it won't be like you see them on every island. With that little disclaimer, let's jump into this. This tip seems obvious, but it can't be expressed enough. For you to even encounter an ancient boy, you need to be on an island to do it. Now, I'm not just talking about shooting over to an island, doing a 5 second check around and then catching the mermaid back. I'm talking about spending 5 to 10 minutes on an island, running all over it. The reason this helps increase your chances is the longer you're on the island, the higher chance an ancient skelly will spawn. You can use this opportunity to collect supplies for your ship, find hidden treasure, and even dare I say it, fish. In this example from Kiralee, they were digging for grubs when they went AFK just for a second and that's when an ancient skeleton spawned, proving it's the combination of moving around on the island and just simply being present on it. Give yourself something to do while you're checking islands for ancient skeletons. Run your favorite voyage type. Now I'm going to make a suggestion here that if you're a pirate legend, I would just simply run an Athena voyage as it gives you the best of all the worlds. Multiple maps on different islands, each requiring you to spend a little bit more time than normal. However, if you're not yet a pirate legend, the voyage I would throw down would be an order of souls. One being that I don't think skeletons like it when you kill other skeletons, but number two, skeletons can take a bit longer than normal to finish. However, a gold hoarder voyage can still be really lucrative. In fact, you know those riddles you avoid like the Black Plague itself? Yeah, they will help you increase your chances big time because, well, if you're like me, reading is hard and I hate looking for those stupid clues, so you'll end up killing more time than usual anyway. You'll be running all over an island looking for clues and it'll take you about 5-10 to 10 minutes to do it. Now last thing here, I heard a rumor that they can spawn more often on the shores of gold. Not sure if this is true, but hey, it's another island you can run around on. If you have time to kill, just go fish. As confirmed from Kira Lee, you know the pirate who's encountered 10 of these ancient skeletons already? Yeah, you do not need to be moving for these skeletons to spawn. Which means if you like fishing, there's no better way to get these skeletons to spawn. However, my tip here would be to not spend over 30 minutes on any one island. By switching it up, you're increasing your chances, so fish on one island for a little bit and move on to the next one. In fact, you can even encounter these creatures on forts, so if you're after those battle gills, there's still an opportunity for you to encounter them. You may just need to keep an eye on your horizon and watch your back while you're fishing. Something terribly sad is having an ancient skeleton spawn and you are too busy or don't recognize the sound to realize that the opportunity is slipping right through your pirate hook. As soon as you hear the first jingle, you will have a total of 20 seconds to kill the ancient skeleton. 
10 seconds to dig himself out and another 10 seconds while he runs away. Don't end up like Kira Lee here, who missed her opportunity to kill an ancient skeleton, leaving herself in utter and desperate despair. So to help you mates out, I'm going to play that sound again, so listen carefully. So now that you know what they sound like, here's how they look. They are covered in blue and gold and have a big backpack on them which is full of ancient coins. So the advanced tip here is make sure your music is not on full blast and your sound effects is turned up all the way. This will help you hear clearly when an ancient skeleton has spawned. Now some of you may be wondering, what does it take to kill one of these ancient skeletons? Well, Kira Lee has done the hard work for us here as well. She's confirmed for us that it takes four slashes with your sword, two blunders, and no idea for the eye of reach and the flintlock. I mean, Kira Lee can't do everything for us. Some of this stuff we're gonna have to do for ourselves, but we can for sure confirm that it takes four slashes with your sword to kill one of these ancient skeletons. They also shared with me that they noticed an increase of ancient skeletons if they only had one crewmate on the island at a time. I don't know if this actually does increase your odds, but hey, it's worth a try. The last tip I have for you to increase your odds is a simple one. You need to sell your soul. Now listen, hear me out, hear me out. I know you only have one soul, but if there ever was a cause for selling it, it would be to get yourself some more ancient coins, am I right? Of course I am. So next time you're on the ferryman, I want you to have a talk with him and discuss the opportunity of a lifetime. Well, that's it, mateys. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, I wanted to share a goal I have with you and a way you can help me achieve it. I am on a quest to become a Sea of Thieves partner creator, and all I need to do is hit 20,000 subscribers. So if you find it somewhere in your pirate heart to hit that little subscribe button, it would mean a whole lot to me and help me get one step closer to my goal. Also, I wanted to throw a shout out to the pirate Kira Lee. They're an awesome streamer who is just expanding a bit into the YouTube space and is trying their hardest to get to 100 subs so they can name their channel after their brand. So if you want to help another fellow creator, click the link in the description of this video, go to their channel, hit that subscribe button, help them reach their goal too. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope to see you out on the seas.